a frequently asked question, how do we know if we want to run two pipes versus one? Well, I don't want to put you guys into what I always call the French drain man spin cycle. The DIYers, they ask a lot of questions and they want answers. So I'm going to tell you why we run two pipes versus one. It's a reservoir. It acts as a reservoir. And I'm going to show you how we do it and why we do it. Here's what happens when you dig a dry well in soil that doesn't have very good percolation. The homeowner thought, I'll dig a hole, and when the water comes out of the downspout, it can be collected in this dry well. And in a perfect world, it would dissipate into the subsoils. If that was possible, he probably wouldn't have felt the need for a dry well. We ended up running an underground drainage system for this homeowner and we took the water right to the storm drain. But vertical dry wells do not have an outlet of any kind. So you need a reservoir much bigger than this. And I'm going to show you in a double barrel system, two pipes, why having a large reservoir is so important. We're working in a backyard of a home and the common area where you see that asphalt walk and there is a clubhouse and you see that pool deck, all that hardscape, non-permeable surface and then there's a playground. There's over an acre here. A one inch rain over an acre of ground totals 27,154 gallons of water. Now I've talked about going to your 100 year rainfall in a 24 hour duration. The location of this double barrel system, two pipes ran in the trench. The 24 hour duration for the 100 year was 6.10. So if you times 27,154 gallons by 6.10, you end up with 165,639 gallons. No dry well is going to hold all of that. You try to put a system together that's going to hold a lot of water because a four inch pipe can move 240 gallons per minute. And if it falls behind during one of these torrential rains or if we experience one of these historic rains, you want to make sure that, and it seems like that stuff's happening more and more too, by the way, but you want to make sure that you have enough reservoir and a dry well doesn't do it. You need to build it into your drain system. Your drain system has an outlet, so it's going to empty. Even if it falls behind and it holds water, once it quits raining, it'll get caught up. So that is why you see so many of our systems with two pipes. It's a, acting as a reservoir, a reserve for those torrential rains in conditions like that. Okay, so the guys, they've cored through the storm drain. This is done, this system here is done. It's dual pipes, big reservoir, big aggregate. This is gonna rip. You know, plywood in. Okay, you see how the guys are working on the system? They're literally standing on the pipe. I just wanted to point that out. They don't have to worry about our Boffman pipe. They don't have to. It's just too heavy. It's just too heavy duty. So now this was a failed French drain system, and it's a lot of things are done wrong. The things that I try to steer you guys away from, don't ever use a sock or a sleeve on a pipe for a yard drain. I mean, this is a failed experiment at best. So. We're gonna go over some of these. I consider these this, the 101 of a good yard drain. You don't want to use a sleeve or sock. So what happened here was somebody just ran a, a trencher, dropped this pipe in with a sleeve, and a, it's just got a 
Look at this. So, the thought behind this is somewhat like our burrito wrap, but it, this don't work. The burrito wrap stops the soil from migrating into the stone, the stone migrating into the soil. See, this don't do that. So my argument is, okay, what good is a wrapped pipe that's not plugged if you can't get water to it? Because once the stone and dirt mix, so this is 101. You, you want to wrap the trench and pipe. So we got, uh, we create a big reservoir here because we got so much sheet water coming off the playground and, and the swimming pool. This is a system where they use the ADS pipe and we found a bunch of it collapsed. It's just flimsy and it's garbage. And in previous videos, I know my, our, our subscribers that watch all our videos know, you don't want to buy a pipe with a sleeve or sock on it. It's a failed experiment. Your aggregate, this is, this is what happens. So they put this pipe in, you know, so here we are. They put it in the trench. They didn't wrap it like we do. Somebody ran a Home Depot pipe. You can see how weak it is. You can see how it crushed. I mean, look at that. It's a piece of garbage. And then they used pea stone, and then they didn't wrap it. So that's why it's not working. It's not working at all. Oh my God, they didn't have it tied in? They didn't, okay. I see what they did. Barbaric. Barbaric. They just busted it with a hammer. Animals. Oh, look at that. Home Depot pipe. You always know the Home Depot pipe by the green stripe. That's ADS. It stands for Advanced Drainage System, but I don't know what they're advanced in. That's for sure. Holy crap, what a crap system. So see how deep we are? See how deep that pipe is? See the difference? Okay, so I'm gonna use this as an example of what not to do. So here's here's the air pipe, and we're gonna be down in here. There's the stone. See how pea stone just migrates into the subsoil? Look at that. It's all can't get water to the pipe. This yard, this yard was a sewer. If this pipe worked, that wouldn't have been the case. And small voids because of the, the pea pebble. And look at this guy, he can scratch my back with that thing. He runs it so well. You're a rock star, Francisco. You're a rock star, buddy. So the aggregate migrated into the clay and the clay migrated in the aggregate. It just plugged. So this is a failed experiment. Having a sleeve or a sock on a pipe is not gonna get the water in the pipe. I mean, so we wrap everything. We have our pipes and our aggregate. We got our stone and we're gonna wrap it all as one. This way we're keeping all the contaminants out. We're running two pipes here because we need it. We need a reservoir big enough to handle the amount of sheet water that's coming off of a playground and a pool yard and a community walk, which is right behind the home here and a parking lot too. So a lot of sheet water. One in three systems that we install are to replace a failed yard drain system. People buy the wrong pipe, they buy a pipe with a sock or a sleeve. They don't wrap the stone for so many reasons. We know what failure looks like. We see these systems that we're pulling out of the ground. We've seen this Home Depot pipe, it's ADS. We've seen it's collapsed, it's flimsy, it's garbage. Compared to the Boffman High Octane, we can walk on the Boffman High Octane. If you try to step on the ADS pipe, you just flatten it. 
It is really weak. It's really flimsy. And when you put a sock on it, it just makes things worse. You have to start out with quality materials to get great results. You want to start out with a great yard drain pipe. Boffman went out and made the high octane specifically for yard drains. They went after it. I couldn't be happier. I've waited decades for this. We finally have a pipe made for yard drains, a quality pipe. And when you run two parallel and you have that extra room as far as a reservoir for the really torrential rains, you got a foolproof system. You never have to worry about your kids or pets walking through the mud. I can't tell you how many hundreds, probably even thousands of times I've seen this. Look at that. There's the old yard drain system. It's got a sock on it. It's flimsy. It's ADS pipe that they sell at the big box stores. It's all you're going to find at the big box stores. It's garbage. It collapses. You can see how it's just collapsed. This is a failed experiment. I want everybody out there to know, stop using pipe with a sleeve or sock on it for yard drains. It just don't work. The number one reason for two pipes in a trench is to have extra capacity for all that water during torrential rains. That is probably the one single biggest reason why you'll see two pipes. Now we do run two pipes for other reasons as well, but I'm not going to, def I don't want to confuse the DIYer. I just want to keep it simple. If you want more capacity in your yard drain system, run two pipes. The voids in the stone are not as big as the void in another four inch pipe. All right, guys, until next time, let's all work hard to do it right the first time. We're going to keep it simple. You DIYers, stay tuned for more high octane.